There are hundreds of people in the Kansas City area struggling to put food on the table. Many rely on food pantries just to get by. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling has more. I see peaches and I see fruit cocktail. I'll get two fruit cocktails. Cheryl Frederick isn't at a grocery store, although it looks like one. And the peanut butter. I'll go with crunchy today. She's picking out donated food here at Jewish Family Services. Frederick has fallen on hard times. She's a veteran and her medical bills have stacked up. So she comes here once a month. They've helped me tremendously over the years and I really appreciate it. Food is a very much need and it stretches and it goes very far. This is Jewish Family Services second pantry location. Here, the customers are called clients and they can shop here once a month. Since we op we've opened, the need has just been incredible. Don Goldman is the executive director and CEO of Jewish Family Services. They deal with around 350 families and sees the need growing. It's a real struggle to keep up with that. We're in process of quadrupling the number of people that we serve here um, over the next two years. They rely on donations from you or their corporate partners like Whole Foods and Harvesters. This donated food helps stock the shelves, especially perishable food. It's something that's really expensive and that our clients would sometimes go without. If you have to choose between buying fresh apples or buying applesauce, applesauce is so much cheaper. Among the staff here are an army of dedicated volunteers. Four weeks out is September 12th. Is that okay? Like Kathy Keller. The clients who come here have become our friends. Friends who need help from generous donations from the community. We really do need it. Greatly humbly appreciate it because people are out here hungry and some people are ashamed and embarrassed to come forth to ask for help. Reporting in Kansas City, Missouri, Nick Starling, 41 Action News. Folks, that right there, that's why we have partnered with Harvesters and Price Shopper to fill the fridge. We've been collecting perishable food products all week long. Yeah, yesterday alone, the community donated more than 3,800 pounds of food. Tomorrow is the final day for our food drive, and Harvesters will be at the Price Shopper on Ash Avenue up in the Northland. That is just outside of Liberty off of Cookingham Drive. Volunteers will be collecting donations all day. There's also a fun celebration happening there tomorrow. That's between 10 a.m. and 2. Price Shopper donating a free lunch to anyone who donates. There will also be music, yard games and face painting. If you can't make it out, you can always donate your money online to Harvesters. You can do that anytime, any day of the year, any amount. We have a link on our website right now. It's kshb.com slash fill the fridge.